Blackport friends. My name's Molly and I'm your Farm to School Coordinator. And if you love food and cooking as much as I do, you're gonna be really excited about today's recipe, Three Sisters Soup. It uses corn, beans, and squash. The native Haudenosaunee people of Western and Central New York called these crops Three Sisters because they were grown so close together. Each one helped the other grow and it also benefited the soil. Let's take a look at our recipe and our ingredients and get started. In your bag, you will find one medium onion, two cloves of garlic, two tablespoons vegetable oil, already measured out, one and a half cups butternut squash, one and a half cups black beans, one and a half cups corn, two tomatoes, two teaspoons cumin, already measured out, and two chicken bouillon cubes. You're gonna need a couple things from your own kitchen, some salt, and some pepper, all right? And some water from your kitchen sink, so you'll need a measuring cup. You can use a liquid measuring cup or a dry measuring cup. All right, we're ready to get started. The first step is to cut an onion. For this next step, you're gonna need a pot to cook your soup in. It's gonna to need to be big enough to put all of your ingredients in, plus four cups of water. You need to find a grown-up to help you turn on the stove and cook with you during this next step. After I've cut up my butternut squash, I'm going to add that to the pan. And my black beans that are already measured out. My corn that's already measured out. And one more thing, I'm gonna add our cumin. Make sure to stop and take a second to smell that. That's really gonna give our soup a lot of flavor. Give it a good stir. Let it keep cooking on medium heat for another about five minutes.
been about 20 to 25 minutes and my soup has cooked down and I want to test to see that the squash is done. So I'm going to find a piece of squash and I'm going to take it out and place it on a plate. This is going to be how we test for doneness. I should be able to cut through this piece of squash with a spoon and I can. So we know that our soup is, is pretty much done. The next step, we want to taste for flavor. So I'm going to take a small little bit of soup and we want to taste it. Make sure to blow it off. Mmm, it's really, really, really good. So up until now we haven't added any salt because we added bouillon. We could add a little pinch of salt here, but I'm not gonna. Anytime we can keep from adding more salt, we're gonna be a little bit healthier. If we wanna add more flavor with, all, with, with some spices, that's better. We can try to add a little more cumin if you want. We could always add a little bit more black pepper. And even if you wanted to add a little chili powder, we could add a tiny bit of chili powder. Look in your spice cupboard and see if there's a few spices that you might like to add. Sometimes I might even add a tiny bit of cinnamon, oregano, um, a little bit of extra garlic. So that's the fun part about making soup. All right, I think it's done. I'm gonna go ahead, take a ladle, and ladle some of this soup up into a bowl. And this is gonna be served with our homemade cornbread.